Bombardier is throwing down the gauntlet for business jet speed, reporting that it has achieved Mach 0.95 as the maximum Mach operating number for its global 8,000. The company announced the increase from Mach 0.94 to Mach 0.95 at the recent NBAA base show in Las Vegas. The new MMO will be the highest approved for a subsonic civil aircraft. Stage Bombardier President and CEO Eric Martel. Now, this morning, we begin the next chapter on what the Global 8000 represents to our industry. And to do and to do that, I'd like to begin with a short film. This film will officially launch a worldwide campaign as we prepare to introduce the Global 8000 to our customer this year. This morning, gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, Eric, you've been speaking to a lot of customers over the past months, years even, in fact, about the Global 8000. Uh, with today's announcement, how do you see those conversations evolving? So I think the all performance aspect and the comfort level is are, are definitely top of mind. And I think our customer base, as I said, you know, is always looking for solution on how they can move around the globe in a comfortable way, but also, you know, being efficient. And I think this is a new tool that will bring even more efficiency. Excellent. And Stephen, you know, it's uh, one number up, but what's behind that tick up? Quite a bit. Uh, I, I think if you look at it, a little bit of a journey. So a year before we publicly launched the aircraft, we took our flight test vehicle beyond the speed of sound. When we did that, we realized that the aircraft handling capability was actually better than 9.4. And so obviously it's important to us that what we commit to our customers, we do. So we locked down 9.4. But the team at Bombardier, who really is constant innovation, looked at how do we do this? This is different to what we see in the industry. What do we do? And so, as recently as two years ago, we actually went back into the wind tunnel uh, to test uh, the wind tunnel model at speeds as high as Mach 1.2. Now, why did we do that? We did that because this is an area where we really haven't been before. And so that validated our models. And the journey is not just about us. That actually let us have confidence have total confidence, and then bring the certification authorities and the regulators along to this new speed of 0.95. That's why today, as we're in the final segment of certification, we really are pleased to share this good news. 
All right, so Mark, there's a lot of news from Bombardier there at uh, NBA this year. Um, just tell us a little bit about this .95. What, is, what does this mean for the 8000? So we've pushed the boundaries of what customers can do with the aircraft. So certifying the aircraft at a MMO, so a maximum speed of Mach 095, means customers can very confidently and safely unlock a lot of very high speed crews. So when you're looking at transatlantic or transcontinental or long missions, you can now very comfortably fly them at Mach 9.2 or other, uh, other high speeds with sufficient margin that pilots usually require when they're operating at high speed. So it just really takes the performance package of the aircraft, that no compromise approach, further on the top speed. And of course, it's always fantastic to be the benchmark of the industry in terms of that. Uh, and as much as we are the benchmark for high speed, we're also the benchmark for low speed. Because of the aircraft's fundamental design that has both flaps and slats, it's still the best performing aircraft at low speeds and accesses more airports than all of its direct competitors. Can you just go a little bit into, when you're talking about speed range, mm -hmm. just clarify what you're talking about there? Yeah, absolutely. So when you're flying at Mach 9.5, uh, that's the limit. So a pilot will decide to fly at a certain cruise speed based on the mission profile, weather conditions, uh, and that could be anywhere from Mach 9.0 to Mach 9.1. You know, the standard range is, is for brochures we've put is Mach 8.5. So this just gives you even more choices of speed um, to, to pick from a mission profile and save those valuable minutes. We're very proud of, you know, the team behind the Global 8000. Uh, we're also being very very cognizant that our customers you know, don't want to compromise. So everyone who's purchased a Global 7500 continues to have the option to upgrade it via service bulletin to unlock all of this performance that we've brought to the Global 8000. So we're bringing all customers along for the journey. That's great, all right.